Welcome to part 12 of Campaign Diligent Insight. I'm recording this right after part 11, so I'm just, I'm still fresh off of just, you know, what happened in the previous part. I'm still fucking amped up from just what the fuck happened, so... You know, I, I there's too many things that happened for me to list off. Uh, uh, just the main thing right now is that we're heading into the Age of Revolutions. We're going to get new Age abilities. And we are going to get... Uh, well, we already got a new institution. We had Enlightenment spawn in in Loon, so that's going to be spreading around. And currently, we do have plenty of wars going on. Ah, oh, let, let me take a breath. Baronies are going after Bahia and Sao Launita, but I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Uh, Lan Second Lanjiao War for Independence. This might actually work. Yeah, Pernacau is actually really supporting them. Uh, and Akazone is being ripped apart, or at least, like, pulled on on multiple angles because of the Indian Roman Empire from before. And I think Akazone is... Okay, no, it's only that war. But still, Pernacau is helping out Lanjiao against a weakened Akazone. Sura is going after Mexico, and Mexico is being partitioned slowly. The Indian Romans are going after Cin the Cinnamon Reich and Japan... Japan's not going to make it down there, so the Cinnamon Reich is pretty much KO'd. And then the Janarian Empire has migrated to Java, basically, and Sumatra, and is now trying to take on Bhutan. But Bhutan rules the waves, the Janarian Empire rules on land, so Bhutan is going to lose East, lose East Timor. And then May is going after uh, Majapahit. Probably not going to work. So, that's that. Let's keep it going. My aim is 1730. At the very least. Uh, I apologize if the frame rate is a little bit... Eh. But, I'm record I want to get this recording done right... I want to get this recording done. If the recording gets too bad, though, I will rest I'll restart the game. Hopefully that fixes it, but it might not. We'll see. Alright, I might just have to scrap this entire recording. Who knows? Canada is pretty much safe. They're allied with the Baronies of Avalon, so that's not an issue, really. The Indian Romans are just... They're going ham, man. Did Langeau get independence? They did not, unfortunately. But... They're, they're just, like, in a permanent state of being rebellious, man. Like, they're... Akazone is not gonna get them to come back in line. Just, just, just not possible. Oh, I see that, I see. I see. That Pernacau's child. That is Australia. Is taking on the Fire Bears. And again... The Parthians and the Russians trying to divide up the Steppe Nomads. Or, well, the once Steppe Nomads. Uh, what's that? what else is there? Nope. That's about it. The Parthians had, like, they, 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 they're, not, they're not really going to have any trouble with this. They have more than enough soldiers to take on Kiva and Avaria and... Well, Russia is Russia. I don't need to say anything about that. Uh, Golestan is actually falling pretty fast. The siege ability from Kiva is pretty gnarly. But, uh, you know what else is pretty gnarly, dude? Russian forces. What does Parthia even want? They want a lot. But so does Russia. Worst comes to worse. Uh, part worst comes to worse. Parthia will absolutely be thrashed by Russia. I would say something very inappropriate. So, uh, but uh, no, nah. something about Russia with Parthia. But I'm not gonna say it. I'll keep that to myself. Let's, uh, I'm, I don't know the Age of Enlightenment or Age of Enlightenment abilities, so uh, allows population census, which is pretty nice. Prestigious court. Okay, 
uh, army professionalization. So mercenaries are going to be out of the question almost for most. But you get drill gain. Uh, classic Classicism art. Construction costs and prestige decay. Shipbuilding time goes down and privateer efficiency goes up. Oh wow, that every country, every tag is going to want that. Resettlement policies. Trade liberalization. I don't know if everyone's going to want that. Iberian coastal forts, blockade force request. Uh, what are the, what are the other requirements? So like, uh, like, Selku. What else do you need? Oh, wait a minute. It changes. Really? It it changes? You can have like dynamic abilities like that? What? No, no. Oh god. I was I I fucked up. My my, my brain is fried. Oh god. I was looking at the wrong thing. Good god. Um, so yeah, Iberian coastal forts, so you basically need maritime fleet base or colonial empire ideas. You can get Br Breton muskets if you're of British or Celtic culture. German discipline if you have 20 provinces of 40 development or more and your culture is Germanic. Or you can get Western openness, which you will lose mercantilism. However, institution embracement costs will go down, and inst institution spread will go up. Yeah, and you need to be either... Oh, you can't have Western, Eastern, Muslim, or Anatolian technology. And your opinion... Any country... Oh, really? Okay. That is an interesting way of doing it. Uh-huh. How's it gonna go here? Parthians versus Kiva and Avaria. Cult Titans clash. But the Parthians come out on top. I'm surprised they folded that early, though. I thought Kiva and Avaria would fight that out some more. Akazone. Oh, really? Akazone allied with nitri nitric oxide. Mecklenburg, not not disloyal. Uh, ye, kind of disloyal. Lan Zhao, mm. they want any and all help they can get. Yep, the Indian Romans spreading down here. They that cinnamon that cinnamon monopoly from the Cinnamon Reich, no longer a thing. Parthians have that discipline, but they don't have they don't have the morale, but they have a little bit of a tactics edge. But I think what's also not represented is the unit pips, and Parthia has uh, cavalry fire, which I, I think that helps out. What's the terrain of their capital? So drylands, and so wherever wherever there's drylands, they also get assistance. I actually haven't looked at the simple terrain map. There we go. So yeah. All of this color, the Parthians will get uh, an advantage in of plus one to their dice rolls. Mysore is going after the Cinnamon Reich, which is going to be easy pickings. Sword is going after Alaric and Svendale. Sellout Nitha is going after the Roman Republic and Upper Egypt. And Bahia, safe once it The Baronies just aren't dedicating, that's it. They they just are not. I apologize if uh, if you hear me sniffling. It's speaking for such a prolonged period of time, especially in like the springtime, I, I tend to get congested. But I do this for the campaign. <laughs> As if I'm making that big of a sacrifice. I'm not. I, I just, I just, I, I want to get these parts done before the DLC comes out. And plus, I love recording these. This is really fun to watch, and I hope you, the viewer, are also having fun watching. I got call of pressures in this, but a lot of it is pretty much done. 
Yeah, it's an imperialist war. They're losing that. They are for surely losing that. Akazone, okay, their military is recovering slightly. But Japan is gonna just... They, they can easily come through again. And I think they will as soon as that truce is done in 1719. So loud, Neath has got the power, man. Upper Egypt. I don't think that. I don't think you're. you're I don't think you're gonna get anywhere. Man, reform really did spread all across all of Europe. And wow, Russia took a huge chunk of land from Abadia. I just noticed that. I guess I'm just used to like Russia owning most of this land, but it's just like, yeah, Abadia was actually there. I, I need to remember that. Now Avadia is just a shell of its former self. Kiva is just barely holding on. Will Selkup be able to hold back the tide of Russians and Parthians? I, I, I doubt it. I honestly doubt it. Hmm, Upper Egypt. They're not without their power, but Selautnitha still has 200,000 ready to go. My question is, where are they stationed? There they are. They're all being summoned back to the homeland. Uh, Tondo, Sulu. Sulu's got actually a sizable chunk of power here. Sulu just doesn't have an... Um, oh, no, they do. They have a much higher military than I thought. Okay. It's right there. Ah, okay. I see that war. I see it. For we have the Indian Roman Imperial... Indian Roman Imperial Great Holy War against Akazone. Akazone, this is your reckoning. You're not getting out of this. Legitimately, like, there's... If you had sufficient allies, maybe, but... No. The Indian Romans are gonna hand you a fat L. I don't even need to watch that that closely to know that it's just going to be Indian Roman just sprawling across. They're all they've already taken Southeast Asia mostly. They're going to slowly start leaking in. What the what the the fuck? Zoom in. The goal being Ningbo if they can get to it. You can tell, like, Akazone has just been struggling for money because they don't have, like, anything built in their capital. They have three things. They're, they're struggling for money. Let's take a look at the economies of other places. Delian Lee, how are you doing? Uh, oh. Well, that alliance with Russia is about to break, apparently. Their finances aren't looking that- Oh my god, Illyria! What have you been doing? What financial mess have you gotten yourself into? Gavaldon, what are you... I thought Gavaldon was trying to finish off the Romans too. But no, it's Selautnitha. Selautnitha is going over here too. They're cleaning up Upper Egypt, sadly. But I say sadly because purely it's my child. Bahia, you're doing okay. You chillin'. I should also note, I looked at Albion's colonies and, uh... Yeah, taking all that land from, uh... Neohuo and Mexico kind of made a colony that just wants independence. You know. They want their independence. Any disputed succession? Nope. Oh, Sura's so trying to finish off. Is Paradox gonna, like, legitimately just buckle under? Like, they might. Th this war might legitimately just... It might cave them in. And then Paradox is just stuck with... Or maybe Vinland gets independence. I have no idea. 
We'll have to wait and find out. Oh, no, 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 no. Paradox has this. Okay. Never mind. Paradox isn't dying. I thought they would, but no. No, Paradox is okay. For now. Oh, my God. Svendale. When did you lose... When did you lose this? That must have been really fucking quick. Yeah, it was. 1714. It was like, it was Svendale and Aladdin, but... Oh, that's right, Aladdin got this land annexed, and then Svendale lost some land because they were a co-belligerent. Okay. Now you're just over here, Aladdin. No, you're not. You have the Balearic Islands. I totally forgot. You have the Balearic Islands for now. Oh. Oh. Sorta. Sorta. You think you can go for Australia, huh? An interesting choice of opponent. They actually got a lot. They got fat stacks of 13 everywhere, man. No, Paradox. Paradox still retains some land, but Ileos is showing them that, like, yeah, we're still around too. We're good. We can still fuck you up. Ah, Iberia. Fully filled out. All right. What is this? Parnacal is going after... Moderate, but I mean, are you really gonna get any? Oh, they might. They're actually landing troops. And they're actually. Oh. My sword's in this too, so my sword's gonna help out. But I don't know. 24,000, and Sulu is helping out too. Okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. And Kakatia. I think Kakati is actually behind on technology. Yes, they are. They're about three techs behind. Let's actually take a look at the tech. Tech map mode? Tech map mode? There it is. Uh, we don't take a look at this map mode that often, but here is your tech map mode. So, like, Loon, they're on top of the world. 25 flat. Well, I'll pause it right here. 25 flat for Suda. Dealing League, 23, 23, 24. Russia is 24, 23, 25. Yazon Mora is 21, 22, 23. Kakatia is 20, 21, 21. Pernakau is 22, 22, 24. Who's. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, Majapahit is struggling. Uh. <gasps> Akazone is 20, 20, 23, while Japan is the same way. Interesting. So it seems like East Asia is just really lagging behind, well, and Southeast Asia too. We look at May, and it's a 17, 18, 19. Mm hmm. Interesting. Well, actually, we should, we, we, let's take a look at the new world with this. Yeah, everyone but Alaska is doing fine, but I mean, uh, like, the low countries declared on Alaska... And what did that what 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 did that do? It just gave free land to Alaska. Are there and no 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 real institutions spread here that are new. Enlightenment just is just spreading around. That's pretty much it. You know what? Oh my god, the third Lan Zhao War for Independence. And it's just Lan Zhao itself. Because Lan Zhao spotted that, oh shit, Japan's going in, I'm gonna go in too. Akazone just got hollowed out by the Indian Romans, it's time to pounce. Uh, Paranakao did not get Madurai. No, there's, okay, yeah, they, 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 they pieced out. Sura, I really don't think you're gonna get anything over here. Parnakau's fleet is pretty sizable as it is, so... Eh. Sell out Nitha, your fleet is not that big, actually. Surda's fleet is pretty big. And, oh dear god. 
Russia is going after the elves. I have a feeling Laos is just like a stand-in for Poland almost. And this is Russia invading Poland and I'm kind of saddened by it. <laughs> oh really? Russia is allied with Gavaldon. Okay. Bro. Loon. What land does Nantuel have that you want? Desmond? Oh, Desmond. Okay. I totally forgot that Loon still has Ireland. <laughs> this is just a partition of Poland. It, it really is. It's just a smaller Poland. Loon and Antwell, Suda, okay. Oh, even Japan is in this one. Shit. Uh, American. Americans are going after Ale uh, Corks. Aladdick. Oh my goodness, excuse me. And then Japan's going after Lanja. Really? I mean, it's a viable target. Lan Zhao is not even that strong compared to Japan, so I guess, you know, I, I suppose. Oh, but if I'm thick, you're done. Well, this is done. You're... The Indian Romans are just wielding their weight wherever they want. It's like, oh, uh, these people have land that I want. It's going to be mine soon enough. Oh wow, <laughs> Nantwell got got exterminated from Ireland. Holy shit! And Nantwell has no has no friends, and now Illyria is coming in to just clean up the remains. Eleos, I think you've suffered enough. I think you've suffered enough, Eleos. I'm gonna take a sip of water while all this happens. And there's your peace deal. Russia taking like half of the fucking country. And I think we know what's coming next. Wait, what? Oh no, this is the low countries that want land from Eleos, apparently. Not exactly sure why, but... Okay. Japan, you've got this. Just play your cards right, and you, you'll, be, you'll be fine. Okay. I mean... That works, I guess. It's a tiny thing, but okay. Selkoop again. Like, nothing's gonna happen here, my friend. No land connection. Unless. Unless. Oh, okay, there is no ability yet for. Go ahead. Yeah, there is no unlimited, like, coring distance. That's what it is, I think. Wolland. <laughs> Tunis? Is this because you lost? I think it is. Yeah, it is, because Prenikau released it. But Pernikal's now at war with Gavaldon. Like, I guess? Over the... Yeah, it's... That's that's just weird. But whatever. Nantwell. Is there any hope? Is there any light at the end of this tunnel? Because I don't think they have anything left in the world. I really don't. Russia's going after Hyperborea. 
trying to erase Hyperborea from the textbooks. It never existed. It it was never a thing. Okay, Sura is still going after Mexico. Akazone is going after the Cinnamon Reich and Persantik. Uh, the Baronies are going after Alaska. Really? The Baronies, I know, can dedicate a lot. So Alaska's in it for the long haul. Uh, Indian Romans are going after Persantik and Lower Upper Egypt. Upper Egypt. Japan's going after Nitric Oxide, trying to clean that up. Parthians are going after... The Cinnamon Reich, for some reason? Oh, that's right, they have um, Hormuz, I forgot. And then Russia is going after Hyperborea. I'm very curious if Alaska isn't going to be able to hold their own against the Baronies and the... Well, I don't think, uh, what's it called, New Albion is going to really help out because it's legitimately just so rebellious. It has over 500 development on its own. And wow, Egyptians in the New World. News to me. <laughs> Vinland, do you want independence? Kind of. You kind of do. Wow. I, they, they even... Pernikau, from that peace deal, took land in the New World from Sura. What are these demands? Oh, and uh, the Roman lands that were here in the New World sold out Nita took them. Okay. I, I guess that that makes sense. S something? I... I just... Wait, what? I, did I see? No, okay. I, I wasn't seeing things. Like, Sura's very powerful. That much is known. They just need to establish naval superiority. And navally transport things. But naval, naval transport is a very hard thing for the AI. And I'm not even trying to, like, discredit Paradox's AI and say, like, oh, it's so stupid, I can't even do it. I know it's very hard for the... to program the AI at this point because there's so much spaghetti code and shit. I don't blame Paradox too much on the AI struggling to understand, like, naval transport during a war and doing that in time. Like, it's... I, I understand. Yeah, Alaska, if that gets caught out, that's... That's a disaster. Oh my god, I need a yawn. I was like a half yawn, and then I just... I, I don't know... I don't know what was going on there with my body. Half committed, half didn't. Minus two from the terrain. M morale is in Alaska's favor. Tactics is in the Barony's favor. The Barony has come out on top. Yeah, Gavaldon is just going to chill here. They they don't need to do anything. And Yazel Mora, the Parthians, have come back to play. Really? Oh, there was no land connection. That's why the Indian Romans could have... They probably actually could have taken it, considering they got a coast, plenty of coastline, but I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, the Cinnamon Reich is... The Cinnamon Reich is... About to collapse. Any inkling of cinnamon monopoly is being lost to the wind. Nitric oxide is now a tributary of Japan. And. Mm, Mecklenburg. Being independent from Akazone's last defeat is now being taken over by Japan, so. Japan will grow larger. Bro, there's still so many fucking wars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, Russia's going after Czechoslovakia. Null Sector is getting, is attacking Alotic, which is very shocking. Null Sector actually having the power to attack. Johannesburg and the Low Countries are going after Czechoslovakia. Japan is going after Mecklenburg. Gavaldon is going after Tunis. 
Baronies are going after Alaska. Americans are going after the West Indies. Totally normal. Akazone is going after the Cinnamon Reich. Uh, Suda is going after Mexico. Uh, still. And the Parthians are about to annex the Swamp Trolls. I think the Swamp Trolls only colonized around here. So, it could be a full annex. There's gonna be so many wars, I'm gonna lose track of what the fuck is going on. Oh no, that's already happening. What am I saying? This Russia is getting too powerful. It's too powerful to be left alive. Oh, they burned the colony in Al Katif. The East Africans got integrated. And now that land that was formerly the East, home to the East Africans, it's now home to the Parthians. I mean, it's now home to Yezel Mora because the Parthians took over the original home of the Swamp Trolls. Oh yeah, and they took this land from the Cinnamon Reich, so... Parthian Empire Ascendant. Parthian Empire Ascendant. And... The Indian Romans want to finish off Kakatiya. There's a land border now. With the heartland. The Indian Romans can easily go for... Can easily, like, strike at the heart. And annex land. Bro. Why are you just chopping Mexico up? Mexico doesn't deserve this. Man, my eyes are getting tired. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day for me over here. But I'm dedicated. I am nothing if not dedicated. Yeah. Now, Japan being allied with Pernikau, I think, is going to really work out for them. Simply because, like, Pernikau is an Indian Ocean spanning empire at this point. And Japan is basically an like an Eastern Ocean spanning empire. If Japan can really like put the nail in Akazone's coffin and annex way more land here, Japan will be a serious like master of the of this water of the of the waters of the Western Pacific. Bro, put, put in the cow. Just peace out with with Gavaldon. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, brass. It's not worth it. So, Johannesburg, did you actually... You annexed some land. It's a tiny bit of land, but it's some land. And Russia did too. In Laos. And Laos is in shambles. Man, this religious map mode is a mess. Jesus Christ. Selkop is holding on to that alliance with Kiva. Their tech isn't that far behind either. 26 is the limit right now, and it's like... Eh. As long as you have military tech 26, you're pretty... You're pretty okay. Akazone is not 26, so... Uh, they need to get on that. Japan is, what, 24... Yeah, Akazone is slowly falling behind. Oh shit, I didn't even see this, but the Fire Bears got pushed back. They are in critical levels of possibly going extinct. Someone save the Fire Bears. Someone call PETA. The Fire Bears are in danger. And Alaska. Well, shit. They're sticking it to the Baronies. Yeah, see, look at this. They're fighting it out. Alaska is not a pushover. Yeah, good, good shit. Holy fuck. Uh, clap, clap, clap to you, Alaska. 13 colonies, do you want? No, you don't. You don't want independence. It's only New Albion because... Fucking hell. 500 plus development. 
Corsica, you still have land? Yeah, you do. You still got land over there. And then... Jesus Christ, there's a conga line here. A Pernacal Jana... Oh. So Pernacal is looking at Sumatra. Really looking at Sumatra. Best of luck to you. The can oh. I'm really surprised. Like the camels have been super peaceful. They've only been involved in, like one or two wars these last few parts. They're they're really not eager to test their luck or anything. I think uh, we'll go to like 1731, something like that. I want to make this a little bit of a shorter part. When did you guys get this? I don't remember when. Indian Romans are at war again? Nope. Okay, the Albion. Again, it's just Me Mexico's being picked on. I don't know what else to say. Akazone, yeah, they're still going. Akazone really wants this land, but they're just not getting it. They're also not even using most of their colonists because, yeah, they're they're in debt. Those colonists cost money, man. If you can't foot the bill for them, you just yeah, it's, it's best to just keep them at home. Recover that stuff. Next song, please. Johannesburg, sell out Nita. Okay, I'm surprised they're allied with sell out Nita. And I'm also surprised the Low Country Republic is still kind of like influential to the point where people want to make alliances with them. I, I would think that like, you know, they've been pushed around to the point where they're not viable as an ally, but now they are. The only thing is uh, their colonies, they really want the independence. Yep. They want independence. And that's just from their own development. I don't think anyone is supporting them, right? Yep. It's just straight up their own free will. Oh, the Parthians. Really? I didn't expect the Parthians to go over here to India. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, the cinnamon right held land here, I think. Or did they? I'm not, not entirely sure. Is it? Okay, no, that's a core province. So this was, this was Kakatiya. I'm curious if, like, the Parthian Empire is going to ally put in the cow. My children allying with each other. I don't think they would, but it'd be interesting. Hey, Illyria filled this all out. Nice. Illyria, are your finances doing better? Hey, God, no. Uh, Delian League, are your finances doing better? Still no. That's, uh, that is unfortunate. I don't know what they need to do to fix their finances, but, uh, I wish them luck. The Japanese Congress of Yanzhou. Akazone, can you hold off Japan this time? Same tech level. Japan has the discipline. They got the morale. Oh, Akazone. Sure, you won that battle, but if Japan is able to land like their main stuff, you might be in serious trouble. You better pray that Japan doesn't land their main stuff. Oh, well, actually, no. They they <laughs> they kind of like landed half of their their main stuff, their main force. I think this. I think I think they can take on this force from uh, Akazone. I I think they can. Okay, so Gavaldon is going after the Romans. 
then... Alright. Did Null Sector win? Null Sector did not win. Well, you tried. Well, actually, where did you get this? Where did you get this? I have no idea how they got this land. I really don't. That's that's really strange to me. I I'm just because like the, the null sectors had no allies, so how did they get that? Did they, an opportunistic null sector? It it's possible, but I just I think it's unlikely. And Mexico is also. Out of the game, unfortunately, they were annexed in 1729, April of last year. Oh, sorrowful days, Mexican... Uh, uh, Atlantean Mexicans. We will never hear the song again. Parthia, what are you doing? Rus Russian Avarian Imperialist War. But are the Avar No, they're still allied with Kiva, so Kiva's about to feel the wrath. Oh boy. Kiva, wrong ally. This is the right ally. Selkup will actually. They might put up a fight. Despite Russia having 350,000 troops on the field. Akazone, what's going on? Is Japan proven to be too much? Is the rogue daimyo finally going to be humbled by the shogun himself? We shall see. Oh god, the Indian Romans are coming through as well. Oh boy. The brewing Imperium is here to stay. So, Yizel Mora, tell me, does this mean when you break, you're just gonna flip tags? Like, they don't have anything else, right? I don't think they do. No. So, yeah, if Yizel Mora, like, breaks to rebels, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, does the East Afri African Federation just come back? Maybe. We'll see. Because I don't think uh, Yezomora has no allies to help them out. That Those rebels are succeeding. Uh, we will finish this in about August of this year. It'll be 21 years. Yep. Okay, so East African Federation was released from two, prov two of the three provinces. It's unfortunate, though. Yizel Mora. Now the East Africans are here and they, 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 they might want revenge. Who knows? We'll go to actually September. I'll extend it by a month. You know. How's the, how's the quality difference? So Russia has the discipline slightly but does not have the morale. And they also have a little bit of a tactics edge. So, yeah. Kiva is still overall like out of this war. They don't stand a chance. But their military isn't completely shit, which is great to see. You know whose military is shit? It's Akazone. Because they keep getting pulled apart from all sides. Japan Japan expanded that foothold. Expanded that foothold. It's it's a it's it's a it's a game of inches for Japan. It's a game of inches. Alright. Actually, you know what? I think we can go one more year. Yeah, we can go one more year. I kind of want to see the conclusion to this war and this war. Because these are like the, these are big ones happening right now. Vatar Koi Kongos of Daral Uji. Sulu against Mecklenburg. Low Countries against Daral Uji. Oh no, the Roman Republic. They have very similar flags. Is it not already coming? Okay. Really? The Baronies think they can take on Pernakau? What do you want? Oh, you want... 
You want the gold, I bet. That's what you want. Yeah, you want the gold. I see you. I see you. Of course the AI just desires gold. Of course. Brewing Empyrean. Ningbo is just right over there, man. You can keep. You can march over to it. Gavaldon. Empress Constance. De la Lach. Okay, actually, hold on. If Gavaldon's ruler dies without an heir, succession war between Russia. Oh, that would be huge. That would be fucking huge. Holy shit. I would love to see that. Because it's going to go under the loot. It's going to be Loon and Gavaldon versus Russia. Juggernauts clashing. Oh my goodness. That would be great. Finish this war, please. I want to end the episode. Please finish this war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is Sulu? 1731. Tondo got BTFO'd by their brothers down south. And hey, they're actually using that uh, that mechanic for spreading the religion across a trade node. That's pretty fucking cool. Sulu is making it work. Okay, we we'll see the peace deal and... Wow. More Southeast Asia just pried away. I did not think that uh, the Indian Romans would take that much. I thought moderate amounts, and I thought they might take a little bit of lands up here near Tibet, but... Nah, man. It's it's all about Southeast Asia. Please finish this. I'm very... Because Russia's going to take a lot. I think Parthia is going to take a little bit too. So what's the exact borders going to be? Sell out Nita. Oh, Mexico was annexed. Okay, uh, West Indies. May. Okay. Generating conquest. Alright. Yeah, so that's just usual stuff. Alright, Russia got that made like a fucking indent in Kiva. And then uh, the Parthians took Bajnod. That's about it. Alright. I think we are fit. Well we'll go one we'll go to the end of this month. Alright, April first, seventeen thirty three. That'll end it off here. So, with that being said, it, you know, we got a huge fucking Russia. Dominant, uh, well, not dominant, but like Europe is stabilizing out slowly. And, uh, Baronies, as well as Gavaldon and Sura, like, they think they can just go where. No, not, not Gavaldon. It's really the Baronies and Sura, I think they can just, like, throw their weight wherever they want and go declare all these wars overseas, but it's just, it doesn't work. So, unfortunate for them. Sulu basically BTFO'd Tondo and consolidated the archipelago. Indian Romans, the brewing Indian Romans, are pushing Akazone out of Southeast Asia, and Japan is pushing into China. And the Bald Khanate has a tributary state of Yi. Selkup, you're gonna need to really back Kiva up if Kiva gets declared on directly. And you're drawn into the war, because Russia will absolutely be swarming you. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really much else. But he is making a living for themselves, and... Yeah, Alaska won a war against the Baronies. I, w I, I would say it's a win. They didn't, they didn't get anything annexed off of them, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, let's take a look at these standings for the end of... What is this, part 12? Yeah, part 12. So in first place, we have the Baronies of Avalon. In second place, we have Loon. In third place, we have Sura. In fourth place, we have the Indian Roman Empire. In fifth place, we have Diet Kola Prussia. In sixth place, we have Russia. In seventh place, we have the Low Countries Republic. In eighth place, we have Selautnita. In ninth place, we have Gavaldon. In tenth place, we have Japan. And in 11th place, we have Johannesburg. In 12th place, we have Pernakau. 
And for hegemonies, we have an economic hegemony being claimed by Loon. And when, remember, when a hegemony gets proclaimed, there, everyone gets like, I think it's minus 50 relations penalty with them. So these alliances may not stand for long. We'll see. But other than that, that's going to be it for now for part 12. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all join me for part 13 as we get a new institution coming along in 1750. I'll see you then.